What's up everybody? I'm back from my Eastern Mojave Heritage Trail trip, which is, uh, we, we did about 265 miles off road in some of the nastiest brush that I've been in in a long time. Ugh. Yeah, that hurts a little bit. Fortunately for me, I found a temporary paint protection product on Amazon called Road Warrior Plus, and I figured I had nothing to lose, I'd give it a try. So as you can see, uh, Jeep got pretty scratched. Is uh, looking at here, I should have applied it on the top, I might be rethinking that, uh, but I did reapply it here on the door, and you can see, I mean, there's, it didn't really go through anything, which is pretty amazing. Did it on the fenders, you can kind of see where, I was sloppy and maybe decided I should have, like, like back here, right? Um, who would have known the bushes would have wrapped around? I didn't think we were going to be anything that crazy. But we were, and you can see the plastic's pretty hammered on this thing, which, you know, it sucks, but that's why I got a Jeep, you know? So we went out and used it. Um, a little bit of water from the water crossing. You can see the front. What's interesting is um, here on the front, on the leading edge, it took a lot of abuse and it didn't break through. Because I've had a couple little spots like this right here. All right, here we go. I'm starting to wet down uh, the Road Warrior Plus here, and we'll see what it looks like, how easily it comes off. I'll check this out. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see through, this, through it on the scratches and dirt that's on there? But then look at the fender. Getting the light here. Totally looks fine. Um, <laughs> that is amazing. Look at that. And then look at this fender. You can see how scratched and everything it is, or the hood. This is uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. So this is what it looks like when you pull it off. Kind of like cellophane, I guess. So let me get the hose. <clears throat> we'll do a little bit more. Peel a little bit more off here. Um, gotta say there's something kind of rewarding about this. And uh, hopefully you can see the paint underneath. Looks awesome. Now, of course, this is the top of the fender, right? So... That's not, that's not the worst part. So let's uh, wet the door down and see what happens. Check this out. Not a scratch on the Jeep. Wow, check it out. That is incredible. You guys saw what this door looked like before. And there's a little bit of tiny, really light scratching in here. But this is amazing. Look at uh, so the dirt here. I'm just gonna pull this whole sheet off. One of the things they say is do two coats and I did a pretty thin coat here. Uh, they also say leave a uh, bead on the edge to make it easier to pull off. And so that's totally, uh, Totally true, I can vouch for that. But you can see in the sunlight here, there's no penetration. You can see the door that didn't have it. All these scratches didn't make it to the paint here. And you can see down here it didn't have it. The other thing I did was painted uh, it right on top of the fender where it gets all these rock hits and stuff. So I'm kind of curious like how it'll pull off from, from the uh, flare here. So let's uh, see what it looks like. So you can see a bunch of rock hits and sand. So definitely uh, gets beat up on the uh, fenders a lot more than on the body. Um, another nice thing is if you do get these sections that are sort of beat up, uh, you can take it to the old local pay and spray and uh, just uh, hit them with the pressure hose and they it'll all come right off. So um, most of it peels off easy, but there's definitely spots that might need a little bit of love. But anyway, you can see the difference right there. Look at that. I'm going with this stuff is awesome.
All right, so uh, here I am in front of a clean adventure Jeep. And uh, so these Road Warrior Plus guys, I don't even know who they are. I don't even think they have a social page. Um, I bought the product off Amazon, didn't think it was gonna work. This was a total experiment, wasn't gonna make a video, but I'm so impressed with it after pulling it off. Um, you can see it comes off in these big chunks like this. Uh, super easy, worked great. I think I've got an idea for the technique of next time of making sure at least you have uh, two coats, make it easier to pull off and leaving yourself a bead that you can pick around the edge and stuff to peel it. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for uh, some sort of temporary paint protection for your off-road or, or Jeep, then uh, this stuff is uh, it seems to work awesome. I'm definitely going to be using it again, and maybe uh, next time you see me on the trail, you'll see a Jeep that looks like it has a bad paint job, but when you get home, it's going to be real nice. So anyway, thanks for wheeling with Sean. We'll catch you on the next one.